Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Best Lathe Plans. So I was contacted a few months ago by a friend who works at a print works and told me that they had a Heidelberg printing press that was no longer required by their factory. So I told them I would be very interested in looking at it. I'm also doing a letterpress course and stuff at the moment as well. So yeah, I've just turned up on site here and um, the guys have been storing it for me for the last few months while I just get my stuff sorted and get a home and everything arranged for it. So I've just turned up here. So we're going to go have a look at the Heidelberg. It's a 10 by 15 platen. And yeah, we're going to go have a look and see what it's like and what bits I need to return it to full printing capability because the guys here have been using it for die cutting. So I need to get new rollers and stuff for it, I think. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll head inside, we'll have a look and uh, hopefully yeah, it's in good condition. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've uh, just come into the print shop here and uh, yeah, here's the Heidelberg. So I'll give you a quick overview of the Heidelberg and I'll show you the rest of the printers here as well. So they have some serious gear here. Now this is just one of the halls. They do all sorts of work, but yeah, massive, massive. So this is the Heidelberg. So yeah, this is the Heidelberg that I've purchased and the guys here used it for die cutting so I need to buy a bunch of rollers for it because it's missing some of the inking rollers that ink up the chase. Um, so yeah, I've, I've sorted out a contact for them. So I'm going to return her back to full printing capability and yeah, hopefully get some, uh, some test prints knocked out on it before the end of the year. So that'll be very cool. So yeah, so that's my first viewing of it. it. Looks like it's in great condition, which is always brilliant. Um, and yeah, built in 1960s, mid 1960s. So yeah, she's got a good age on her, but it'd be a great machine. So I need to get her home sorted out and then get the transport arranged. There's a big roller shutter over here and she's on a pallet already. So it's just me a case of getting her picked up, strapped up, and then moved to the new location and get her up and running. The guys also apparently know a Heidelberg engineer as well who's gonna, um, who they're gonna put me in contact with and hopefully they will be able to come out and fully service the machine before I get it set up for its first run and give me a few pointers as well. I have a lot of documentation, but it's always good to have someone in the know kind of walk you through it as well before you get started and do anything too crazy. So yeah, that's the Heidelberg. Uh, loving it. So yeah, thanks to the guys here at this print shop. I'll, um, I need to contact them and just make sure they're happy being named in the videos and stuff. But yeah, once I have their confirmation, I'll put all their links in as well. But yeah, you can see the amount of stuff they do. Yeah, they do all sorts of mad cool stuff here. But yeah, there's my Heidelberg. Very, very excited to get this uh, collected and move to her new home and get her set up and printing again. So yeah, that's the Heidelberg. I'll see you guys shortly. Cheers. Hello everybody, welcome back. So today I'm collecting my 1965 Heidelberg printing press. So yeah, I'll take you inside. You can have another look at the machine. Um, and then we, I'll show you it getting loaded up onto the truck. Hopefully it all goes well and we get it loaded, transported and unloaded without any issues. Fingers crossed. So here we are in the printers again. This is my Heidelberg 10 by 15. Um, got it for an absolute bargain. Only paid 400 quid for it, which is amazing. Uh, but I need to buy a load of other bits for it, so that's another story, that'll be a new video. Um, to give you an idea of cost comparison though, this massive thing at the back is their printer, and they spent a million quid on that, so this was cheap. But it uh, needs a bit of a clean, but yeah, it needs a bit of a clean, but otherwise pretty cool. So yeah, I'll uh, explain that later in the video. Okay, um, all right, so I actually had to cut the video because we were having a few issues loading the pallet into the, into the van because the van had a tail lift and the forklift wouldn't reach over the tail lift. Uh, it didn't have enough reach and we couldn't get the tail lift out of the way 
and the guy with the van didn't want us driving on the tail lift because we'd crush it, which is reasonable. Um, so yeah, there was a bit of drama getting it into the truck and then once it was in, obviously we had to get it all strapped down and stuff. So yeah, anyway, the Heidelberg is in the van, it's all strapped down and it's now on its way to my storage unit. So yeah, that's the current state of play. So I'll hopefully have some video clips if it's not pitch black by the time we arrive. I'll hopefully have some clips of it getting unloaded um, and then placed in, into the storage unit and then I'll do a little uh, little round trip of it as well and show you show you the unit and stuff as well once once it's in place. So yeah, whew, what a lot of work, what a lot of effort. Um, but it's gonna be fairly close soon. It's just a matter of getting it out the van now, which is gonna be the challenge. So I'll uh, figure that out when, uh, when we arrive. So yeah. Um, wish me luck. It'll probably be in about five seconds for you guys, but it's going to be about an hour's drive plus all of the effort to unload it and everything. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next scene. So I found a guy to help fork it off the truck and he's driving down the road. He works at a different unit, so he's going to help me lift it off the truck. So yeah, thanks buddy. Legend. Yeah, ideal mate, that's perfect. You're a legend, thank you very much. Okay, that was an absolute nightmare. I had to call in favours from like the guys a couple of doors up there. Um, the guy with the truck did an absolute sterling job and I think I uh, burned through a few credits with him as well. So if you're watching buddy, huge apologies and uh, yeah, I owe you a beer. Um, but here it is. So finally, there's the Heidelberg in the storage. And uh, yeah, it's all there. So what a flipping day. Jesus, that was hard work. Uh, note to self, next time, prep the truck properly, prep the uh, forklift or just get my own forklift. But it's in, it's in and it looks great. It's a little wet, but yeah, hopefully it won't rust. But yeah, she's in. So the next few videos you'll see will be cleaning up, assessment, having a look mechanically, seeing if it's okay, and then figuring out if it's actually good for any work. So yeah, yeah, the next video will be all the detail and what's missing and what I need to get and extra parts that I've bought and all that other stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in another video. Take it easy.